But I'm going to kick it off here with a lesson on direct and partial variation. Give an example, this girl's working as a lifeguard at a local pool and she gets paid $12 per hour. So the goal here is to describe the relationship between her pay in dollars and the time in hours that she works. So we can do this just using words. We can see that for every hour that she works, she earns $12, okay? That's pretty intuitive. And you can just kind of get that just by reading the question. But our goal here is to model this situation using some algebra. So I'm just asking you to define two variables to represent this scenario. And then I want you to form an equation using these variables. So I've got two things happening here. I've got money and I've got time. So my goal is to represent both of those with a variable. When you're writing these statements, you wanna be as descriptive as you can. So I'm gonna say, let P represent pay in dollars. And I'm also gonna say, let's let H represent the number of hours work. With these two defined variables, I can come up with an equation. Obviously, if I work one hour, I get $12. If I work two hours, I get $24. But our goal is to represent this using an equation. If I'm to write an equation in terms of number of hours worked, I could say that P is equal to $12 per hour. So I can say P is equal to 12H. So I want to take a look at what this is going to look like on a graph. Okay, and in order to do that, I'm just going to use this table of values. I'm going to put values for time, and I'm going to see what happens to my pay as time goes on. And then once we've done that, we're going to graph it over here. Let's look at if time is zero. Let's say this person does not work at all. If you think about how much money she's going to make, that's fairly intuitive. If she doesn't work, she doesn't get paid. That's how I'm, I'm generating this table of values using this equation here, increasing my number of hours and seeing what happens to my pay as a result. I want to take this table and I want to plot these points on this graph. Over here, I'm going to say I've got time on the x-axis and I've got pay on the y-axis. So what I want to do here is just plot some points. It's nice to come up with an appropriate scale here. Highest value is 60. So you could say that each one of these units is 10. And as we go along our x-axis here, we're going to start at zero. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and so on. So let's start by plotting this first time and pay pair. So zero, zero would be right here. Okay. Now I'm going over one hour. I'm going to go up to 12, which is we'll say approximately here. Okay. And I can just keep doing this. Okay. Now, if you take a look at that set of points, uh, we could connect these points with a straight straight line. Okay, as you can see, the, the longer you work, the more money you make. What I want to do next is I want to look at, well, let's say that this person worked nine hours. Okay, I could keep going on my graph or my table of values. The easiest way to come up with this value is to just use my equation. So if I have pay and that's equal to 12h, in this case, my h is nine. So I'm just substituting nine into my equation and that's going to tell me how much money that this person is making. We'll get $108 for nine hours of work. So that's just a little example of something we call direct variation. Just to summarize here, we call this relationship a direct variation relationship because it's a straight line and it passes through the origin, okay? So if you look at our graph here, this line does pass through the origin and as a result, we call it direct variation. This is a relationship where we've got two variables. One is just a constant multiple of the other. We write this as y equals mx. m is just our constant of variation. In our example, we had 12 as the constant of variation. That just means for every hour, our pay increases by $12. We're going to look at something called partial variation. So this one's a little bit different than the last example. We had this guy taking a taxi that's charging $2 initially, regardless of how many kilometers driven. And then we've got this 50 cent increase in price for every kilometer traveled. Let's just look at this scenario and we want to identify the fixed cost and the variable cost. So fixed cost, well, that just means what am I being charged regardless? In this situation, it's a $2 charge regardless. So this is no matter what, this is how much we're paying. Okay, so that's what we call our fixed cost. Our variable cost, this is the 50 cents per kilometer that we're traveling. Okay, so that's what we call a variable cost. It varies depending on the number of kilometers we've driven. Now, just like the last example, we can define two variables and we can write an equation that will represent this scenario. I'm going to say let D represent distance traveled in kilometers. And let's say let C represent the cost in dollars. Okay, so if I use those two variables, I can come up with an equation. So I'm going to say C equals right away we know it's going to be two dollars but that's our only our fixed cost okay we have this variable cost of 50 cents per kilometer so i've got 50 cents per kilometer i'm going to use my d variable so i'm going to say my cost is going to be 50 cents per kilometer plus my two dollars that i have to pay no matter what so we can model this scenario using that equation i'm going to look at what happens if i travel zero kilometers remember in the last example we had zero dollars in this case we start with $2. Okay, now let's look at what happens if I travel one kilometer. Okay, so I've got 0.5 plus two. Well, it's just gonna be 2.5, so two and a half dollars. As I increase my distance, 
I'm increasing by 0.5 dollars or 50 cents per kilometer. So to graph this thing, again, I'm gonna let distance go on my x-axis. That's what I'm changing. I'm gonna put the cost in dollars on the y-axis. I'm just going up by one kilometer each time. Let's make two squares, one dollar. When I have zero distance, my cost is two. So I'm gonna be starting right here. When I have one kilometer, I'm gonna be at two and a half. And there's my graph. This trend is linear. We're starting at $2 regardless of the kilometers I drive. And for every kilometer I add, I'm going up by 50 cents. Good representation of our relationship here. Okay, now I wanna use the equation. Cost is gonna be 50 cents. I'm gonna substitute 10 for the number of kilometers. End up with seven. He pays $7 for 10 kilometers. So this relationship we call a partial variation relationship because it's a straight line that does not pass through the origin. This is a relationship between two variables. We're taking this constant number. This was like our $2. We're gonna add our constant variation this is our fixed cost, this is our variable cost, and we get this y equals mx plus b equation. Great, thanks for watching.